It's kind of impract. It's kind of. This area is under maintenance. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. May I talk with Do you? Have mm. No, you know my prank. Please don't ins. I don't play prank. Oh, I did. But could you? I heard. I hope. Deep. Good night, Mrs. John. Good night. The door is locked. I can't use the sleeping. I can't use the sleep. Once I played a prank on the local kids with something like this. I put a candy container on the street, but instead of normal candies, I left a bunch of salt coated ones. <laughs> also, I put an anti personnel landmine below it. The explosion left little Timothy without eyebrows for a few weeks. Inside that chest is trapped my lovely fish Domingo. The chest is locked with three locks. I have to find a way to open it. There's nothing to unscrew there. The idea is great, but Mrs. Johnson will kill me if she sees me. The only thing this is useful for is reading. The only thing this is useful These are some pretty interesting Eve. doesn't need this smelly coat. Totally right. I'm him. I mean, it's me, Dan. And you are? I'm Mongoose Romero, the lightning of the Romero brothers. How did you recognize me? Because I'm totally Dan Teapot. Well, you told us you'd be wearing a distinctive hat. Ah, yes, of course, my hat. In my opinion, it would have been easier to recognize you if we knew that you're constantly wearing a weird smiley mask. By the way, why are you wearing that mask? Oh yeah, a mask. That's because I'm a really shy guy. I can't talk with strangers if I'm not wearing my mask. I have mental issues. Mental problems, of course. That explains the payment in advance. What are you doing in the middle of the night at the cemetery? Me? Training, of course. We must always be ready for battle. You never know when you're going to find a ghost, a demon, or worse, it could be the Big Pie Raptor. The Big Pie Raptor? Where? Oh, so you've never heard of him. The Big Pie Raptor is a maniacal purple velociraptor that throws apple pies at unsuspecting people. It doesn't sound that threatening. <laughs> you say that now, my lad, but if one night you're all alone in a dark alley, and you perceive a shadowy reptilian figure running, and the foul stench of apple pie infects the air. 
You'd better not come crying to me. But I understand you. I was once like you, a reckless young man. I also didn't believe in the big Pyraptor. Until that sad night. I remember it as if it were yesterday. I was going to a dance party with my brand new white suit when I saw him. It was already too late. I already had three apple pies all over me. I tried all kinds of stain removers, but nothing worked. But one day, one day I will have my revenge. Sweet, sweet revenge. Whatever you say, bub. Just calm down. About that demon I hired you to hunt for. Where is it? Oh, that. It's in our demon chest. But don't worry, it will not be bothering you again. It's locked with three locks, and each of us is guarding a different key. There's no way it can be opened without our unanimous consent. Do you have any idea where the rest of your team is? I guess that Walrus is in the tavern, drinking. And Foxy, she had an appointment with the mayor of Darkestville. I guess she had to do some paperwork. Your friends told me you could lend me the chest key you have. There must be a misunderstanding. We are not allowed to give our keys to anyone. I'm pretty sure they... Misunderstanding. Okay. Hey, look! It's the big pie raptor! Where? Where? It's hiding inside the crypt! I just saw it! At last! You are cornered, you filthy apple pie carrying animal! Wait. Wait a minute. I've already been through this a couple of times. Walrus probably told you to tell me so that he can laugh at my disappointed face. I will not fall for that again. But I just saw it! Oh yeah? Do you have a photo, footprints, a piece of pie, or something else to prove it? No, not really. Then tell Walrus I'll not fall for that this time. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye, and stay vigilant. Maybe I can take a bone, but forget about the skulls. They can bite me. Remember me as the non-bald, great man I was. Gonzo Smith. Doctor, lawyer, adventurer, good husband, dragon slayer, and king of the East Kingdom. The Compulsive Liar support group will not be the same without you. Charles. You taught us that you should follow your dreams no matter what. Too bad your dream was to stop cargo trains at full speed with your chin. We will miss you. Your name will always be remembered. Tall guy who used to cough a lot at the tavern. It's the cemetery crypt. It's too dark to see inside, and the crypt ladder steps are too tall. Which is a terrible combination. Or a perfect combination if you're planning to throw someone through the ladder. It's the cemetery. It's the. Evidently, I have more important matters to attend. Yeah! I don't have time to just stare at mud, but somehow I find it relaxing. Yeah! Ha! I prefer not to use. I don't think it's a good idea to put mud in my pockets. I've tried in the past, and the sensation is horrible. Ah! Ah!
I can't use the bone there. I can't use the... This is Ruffo's house. I don't think so. Nuh-uh. No thanks. doesn't need the only thing this is useful creative but I can't use the that mysterious key you have. Sorry, but I will only take it out if the rest of the group has to open the chest. So, it must be great to be a demon hunter. Oh, yes. You meet a lot of people, do exercise, fight evil, travel the world, and taste new drinks. It's great! Ha <laughs> ha! Goodbye. It was a I can't use the sleeping pill with that. He will punch me if I do so. And trust me, his punches do hurt. Hello. Hi! Do you know anything about that stranger over there? You know my policy. I don't like gossip. I don't make questions. As long as you're my customer, I don't care what you do or who you are. I would like to play- Look, if you want to order something... I'd better- see. I cannot cut it with my bare hands. It's like it were made out of rubber. But to be honest, even if I could, I don't want to carry this plant around. It smells funny. What if he's one of those blind samurais and slices me when I touch him? Hello. Hi. I didn't hear you coming. What are you doing on the street at this time of the night? I went outside the tavern for some fresh air. Why do you ask? Are the streets of Darkestville dangerous? Mm, no, not really. But there's a thanks for the What are you doing on the street at Thanks. 
I notice you haven't touched your drink. Yeah, this mojito is kind of lame. The mint they used is really old. It's almost tasteless. If you're not going to drink it, may I have it? Nah. Besides, even if the drink isn't good, at least I look cool with a drink in my hand, right? No, but then again, you are too blind to notice it. <laughs> you got me there. May I have your drink? No. I have other... See you soon. I can't use the sleeping pill with that. That doesn't need peanuts. It's a loud bicycle horn. I love this thing. I almost gave Mrs. Johnson a heart attack with it. It's a good idea to use this horn with that. doesn't need to be sl 